So I asked you in Hoover, you had a talk with Sully about starting that game. I'm guessing you're also just assuming you're starting Friday to start the regional as well. Yeah, I mean, we he told me that I was starting on uh, Friday, so we had a little more communication just because it was there's a little more strategy. I think the game in Hoover was a kind of like a must win, and he was gonna he knew I wanted the ball, so kind of just assumed to each other, like, hey, I'm throwing, and that's how it's going to be, I guess. Obviously, uh, regionals, that first game, so important. I mean, what's it, what does it mean to you to be to be pitching that game? Um, I think it's awesome. I think that they have trusted me and that I need to go out there and do my job and give my team a quality start. Were you, Sully said he's laser-focused on Dallas Baptist. Obviously, when you saw them come up, you probably didn't even see the rest of the four because you knew what you were, you yeah, were going to be pitching against. Yeah, I guess when when we saw it in the in the um, room, we were like, okay, we're playing DBU first, and then that's all we can focus on. I mean, we can't focus on anything else other than that one game. What have you guys learned about yourselves based on the uh, the Missouri series and your ability to come through with the clutch there? I mean, those were must wins, and you got them all. And uh, can that carry forward. You know? I think it shows that all of our pitching is there. It just needs to come out and and uh, be consistent and I think it shows that um, we can we have the guys to do it. It's just that we just haven't had it click at the right time and it clicked and all three of all three of us had quality outings and then the bullpen did really good and the offense did awesome. How important is it to handle their running game? They got about 80 steals, I think, this year. Yeah, I still was talking about first and thirds and how they're going to run and their vaults off the bag and um, just holding the ball and using different timing to uh, make sure they're not in a consistent running count. How comfortable are you with that, with mixing up your timing? Well, Missouri had was a good running team also, and um, I think if you just hold the ball and don't, kind of like go slow to the plate then you give your catcher a chance to throw guys out and also if you can have a quality pickoff move that can that they have to respect then you'll have you'll have a decent time with the running game you're a taller guy does the slide step mess with you at all no I think me being around I'm usually around a 1-3 to the plate and that's what everybody wants so no, I'm 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 okay with it. Um, before I had a slide step and it was it was hard, but I've picked up my leg a little bit. But that was be, like before freshman year. This was a team a couple weeks ago. Most people didn't think it was gonna make it. Now that you've made it, do you think this is a great opportunity for you? Yeah, I'm so happy for this opportunity, and I think that all the upperclassmen deserve this. And I think that um, just giving us the opportunity. Hopefully we can show that we are, we're better than what our season has shown so far. But I think that we're just growing and we're really young. And um, I think that this is going to be a, a good time. What you guys have done with the program is done. There's always kind of a bullseye on your guys' back. Do you feel more of an underdog heading into this regional than maybe last year? I mean, rankings-wise, yes. But I still think the, the name across our chest is still – very nationwide known and I know that people think that or people know that we play well in postseason and we play well and maybe this is a down year but I think that we'll still have a good run.